just personally, but... Yeah, Spenu, very balanced, engaged comp coming through with the likes of Siva. I'm not a big fan of the Siva Azir just because Azir feels better when he's cutting backwards, and this team is all about getting in the face. I think the nice thing... Uh-oh, here we go. Gang on to help her now. Catch on the top side. Oh, there's the knockup. Ult is popped. They're going to try and kill him. He will go down. Red buff will take him out. Really creative pathing to the extent that even though Jace left lane, it wasn't to even check for this dragon. They probably have an inkling now that Secret Nuclear walked over and cleared a ward. Valkyrie's teleporting, waiting uh -oh, to see that's in the space bottom lane. Actually is, Vax actually is going to get knocked up by Soul right there. Helper on the outside already TPing down. Good equalizer across three. Soul getting low on the outside, and Coco just going to flash to pursue Sasin into the choke. So two for none for Spenu. These lane assignments are going to be extremely preferable to CJ Entis. Starting to really hit their stride. Oh space boy. going to get knocked up. There's the on the hunt. He's all alone, head butted back. What can he do here? He's putting down the damage. Nuclear going to sidestep the Phosphorus Bomb. Space going to flash. Prey Seeker hits him, and that's it. Actually, CJ makes a mistake and lets them into the river. Here we go. Looks like the dragon will be taken by Sivir. Okay, there's the Equalizer just to push people off. Now, Sven is going to respond with an all-in space in the front line already. And there we go. Janna goes down immediately. No Monsoon used. So that's going to be a disengage from CJ. Guard boots, so he'll get back there. Righteous Glory is popped, but there is just nothing to go on. Even space, there's the Equalizer going down. Doesn't really hit anybody, but it gives them the angle onto the tower. And here comes Trick, actually. Nice play onto the Sivir. Knocking her back isn't enough, though. Monsoon will cancel Secret's engage. Porky is soloing Dragon with a million wards around him, so he feels comfortable doing that all by his lonesome second Dragon for CJ. And this is a big, big trade that they're making. They need a Baron they're Buff minion it. wave to help them. Yeah, they're going to take it out, but oh, there it is. Baron Buff minion wave will actually maybe save this tower. No, it won't. Well, that actually probably isn't a very good trade for Spenu. The question I was actually going to ask you, Will we see an engage? We do there see we an go. engage. Trick with the knockup, and here we go. Rumble, Equalizer cuts off Sivir in the back line. There's a knockup from Secret and Soul. He's still got his ult on. Nobody really hurt. Unbreakable Will goes down, though. Here comes the TP. Where? Oh, where is it? Nope. From. Oh, <laughs> Helper. He's going to die. I thought I heard a TP. Flash away from the two disguise Q damage. Or if it's turned around, it's going to be a problem. Speaking of a turnaround. And here's Trick. He gets knocked up. He's all by himself. And now Soul finds his way onto the back line. They lock down Max. Can they finish it up? No, Soul just going to get out of there. Sasen very low after the Equalizer in that bottleneck. There's no real retaliation here. Coco is going to go on a secret mission into the top side down early. And oh, Coco getting caught out. That is huge. And he has the Hex Drinker up, but it's not going to be enough. Soul is able to escape from that all in. And now Trick will fall in the back line. Flash forward from Whoa. Nuclear. He gets a crit. Takes down the Janna for the double. Sasin still chasing. Can Sasin go through with this? He's not committing with his E quite yet. Shield up onto Sasin, but they are not going to push this any further. There's no way for CJ, even with some wards around the area, to contest second Baron buff for Spenu. The first one was a very smart, sneaky one. Four Dragons, fifth Dragon win condition. This is a team that hasn't done a lot of winning. They're in that development. We've seen a lot of things, but we haven't seen the dive. Well, there's the Righteous Glory, knock up. There's a Boomerang Blade into Max. Max already at 50% HP, Catch comes in from the flank. He will get the knock up, Chilling Smite down on the Max. There's a nice Equalizer into the back line, but Sasin just going to go in. He kills Max right away, Sasin goes down, and Space and Coco doing some work, but they're in the center of four tanks right now. Nuclear still starting to attack, and Helper just gets bounced around before his Zonia Soul on the outside zoning. Nuclear takes the last hit. Damage to either neutrals, all turrets falling low, 6,000 health. All right, Trick just gonna re-engage. There's the Randuin's active. Coco gets caught, nuclear with the flank ult, and that'll be it for Jace. Now they're gonna go back in. Soul gets a nice knockup on three members, and nuclear just charging through right now. He's going to get a ton of auto attacks, another twisted advance. Goodbye, says the crit, and here we go. Trick getting low, double kill. Finished off by Nuclear. Now, will they push four men down? Not tended to this enormous minion wave in bottom side. Come on, Spenner. This is the time to be assertive. You couldn't pull off the turret die, but with 60 seconds death timers, surely you can win the game. Yeah, they should be able to. Help her with no TP to try and move that minion wave forward. A million armor on Sol. Yes. A he might die amount. once. And here he comes. He's back from the grave. Literally. 
So was Helper for a second there. <laughs> Dead again, and Spenu, okay, couldn't do the assertive turret diving, but still won the game. Yeah, that was uh, another win for Spenu. They